Hey Wanda and Lucy Beckham students, I'm Alexander Johnson. And I'm Matthew Pilly. And today we're gonna start show off with updates on the coronavirus and the vaccination. Then we're gonna give you a recap of 2020. And lastly, everyone's favorite man on the street. What's up, Wando and Lucy Beckham students? I'm Isabella Davis. And I'm Brooke Vogt. On this segment of ECSN, we are going to be talking about the recent COVID-19 updates regarding the new vaccine that just came out. First, let's talk about the different phases of the vaccine and what each phase means. Phase 1A, which came out on December 14th, was the first vaccine that came out and is currently ongoing. This phase will end around midwinter of 2021. It includes healthcare workers, pharmacists, and dentists. With phase 1B coming up very soon, people 75 and older, along with frontline essential workers, will be able to receive the vaccine by late winter of 2021. Phase 1C includes more essential workers, covering those of ages 16 to 74 with underlying health conditions. The vaccine for these people will be available during early spring of 2021. Lastly, phase 2, which is between late spring and early fall, will consist of other people who want to be vaccinated. And this also consists of students in school who want to be vaccinated in order to stay safe from the coronavirus. Although these dates are already set, they are subject to change due to the amount of tests and changes in vaccine demand. Also, some side effects of the COVID-19 vaccine include pain, numbness, and swelling in the arm where the vaccine was injected, as well as chills, tiredness, and headaches, which are all symptoms for the rest of the body. That's it for now on the Vaccine Talk. Stay tuned into our later episodes for more information regarding COVID and the new vaccine phases. This is Brooke Vokes and Isabella Davis reporting, reporting for ECSN. COVID wasn't the only thing that made 2020 suck. Next, we review what some might say was the worst year ever. Okay, welcome to your 2020 recap. My name is Anthony Molovade. And I'm Holland Hines. If you've made it this far and you're watching this, congratulations, you survived. We know it's been a long, hard, emotionally tolling, very sucky year. But we're past that. 2020 is over and 2021 will be better. <laughs> Maybe. For now though, we want to remind you what all you survived this year. Okay, January 2020. 2020 started off with threats of a third world war after the United States sent a drone strike on Iran. Shortly after, on January 26th, there was a death of a legend. Kobe Bryant, number 24 of the Lakers, passed away with his daughter Gianna in a helicopter crash. Everyone around the world paid their respects. On to February 2020. After the death of a legend, February started with the Australian bushfires. The first American died of corona. And the Boy Scouts of America filed for bankruptcy. Now March, my birth month. March was the start of some of the most boring months of our lives. Almost every country around the world went into lockdown, including our own. It was my birthday. Yeah, you've made that very clear. April 2020. Not much happened, believe it or not. Yeah, in fact, the biggest news was the Saudi Arabia ceasefire. May. Not much happened in this month, aside from murder hornets. Do I need to say more? Yeah, that was actually my biggest fear was I'm coming to South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Now on to June. June was when the spark of the Black Lives Matter protest began. Thousands in the United States protested for racial equality. Oh, and mass graves were discovered in Libya. Just so goes to show how crazy 2020 was. Yeah, and COVID continued to hit major peaks. July 2020 started with the Nantes Cathedral in France burning down. There was also a monkey riot in Thai City. August 2020. Wildfires in California. Flash floods in Afghanistan. Wait, isn't Afghanistan a desert? Massive storms in the Caribbean. September 2020. This month marked the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who served on the Supreme Court for 27 years. And King T'Challa, Chadwick Boseman. October 2020. A pretty quiet month, actually. Halloween still happened, though. Yeah, the perfect corona holiday, since you have to wear masks and everything. And also the death of a legend, Sean Connery, the first James Bond. Rest in peace. November 2020. Bolivia got a new president. And a major attack in Vienna. Four people died and 23 were injured. And Cyberpunk 2077 got delayed for another month. December 2020. 
On Christmas Day, there was the Nashville bombings. Cyberpunk was released, and it was horrible. Well, that was your 2020 recap. I hope 2021 goes better for everyone. My name's Ephraim Olivet. And I'm Holland Hines, signing off for ECSM. <laughs> Now that Paris from Man on the Street. Hey Wando and Lucy Beckham students, I'm Paris King, and today we're gonna go around Wando asking students random questions. How many planets are in our solar system? Eight. Wait, isn't Pluto a planet? <laughs> um, I have no clue. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Saturn, Jupiter, and Neptune, there is eight. How many planets are in our solar system? Seven. I forgot. What will you find at the end of every rainbow? A pot of gold. No, it's a W. Get it? Because rainbows. <laughs> How many bones do sharks have? Um, I don't think they have any bones. Most of it's cartilage. You're right, it's zero. 50. A nun, right? Yeah. I have no idea. What is a doe? Uh, is that a bird? Is that a bird? No. No, that's not You talking. Mm. Okay, do you have no, I don't. <laughs> it's a female deer. Doe? Oh, that's a, that's a female deer. What's the capital of France? Paris. That's my name. Did you know that? No, no I don't know you. Paris? Yeah. <laughs> How many wings do bees have? Two. Yeah. Seven. Um. That's all we have for you today. For more, check us out on other social media pages. We'll catch you on the next one. This has been Alexander Johnson and Matthew Pilly signing, signing off. off.